Today is September 1st. It is the beginning of meteorological fall, and also we will be losing more and more sunlight. Look how much we lose in just the next 30 days, running nearly 100 minutes less of sunrise. Sunlight is 615 as our sunrise today. At the end of the month, it is 649, 727 tonight. 633. I think that'll be the biggest contrast as we head towards the end of the month. Also, September is a relatively wet month. On average, we pick up just over three inches of rainfall. Now, back in 2019, we had over nine inches of rain. Last year, we were just a little bit above average with 3.2 inches. Right now, it is 55, a cool and crisp morning with a light wind coming in out of the north at 8 miles per hour. It is in the 40s in the north woods. We've got 45 in Pembine Mountain and 46 in Anago. We got 51 in Menominee, also in Oconto, upper 50s in Oshkosh, same thing in Kiwani and Manitowoc. Winds coming in, continuing out of the north and northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that'll be pretty much the case throughout the day today. With those winds ushering in from the north, drawing in some of that cooler, drier from Canada. Those dew points, nice and comfortable. You could be doing perhaps some lawn work outside and not be concerned that you'll be sweating within the next 10 minutes compared to some of the earlier days we've had this summer. High pressure is the weather maker for the next two days as that wind flow comes in out of the northeast, but eventually that high will break apart and we'll see increasing clouds later on tomorrow ahead of some showers and storms on Friday. The remnants of Ida now moving across the mid-Atlantic. Heavy precipitation. There's flash flood watches, flood warnings in effect where some locations could pick up over a half foot of rainfall out of the remnants there. A lot of tropical moisture. For us, quite the contrast. Nothing but sunshine across the area for today. So Skycast is showing going into the afternoon, plenty of sunshine, a few fair weather clouds moving out and about. As you head into tonight, we'll have mostly clear skies. But then tomorrow, as you get into the afternoon, thickening clouds will start to move in here. And by Friday, we'll have a few isolated scattered showers and maybe a rumble of thunder as we get into the afternoon. Doesn't look to be anything severe, but certainly something that could provide us with a few light sprinkles out there. So for today, we'll get up to 73 and northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, we'll cool off to 52 with a northeast wind at 5 miles per hour. 74 on Thursday, a slight chance of a shower or storm on Friday. The weekend staying dry for now, but we could certainly have an isolated sprinkle or uh, two on Saturday and Sunday, Monday, 73 and it looks like a dry labor. Yeah, nothing too crazy though. Yes. All right, thanks Gino.